And here we have the, uh, I believe this is the Jersey Shore. Uh, and so we can just see fist pumping and glow tans and all that uh, from this outer space image here. Uh, but one of the things is these barrier islands, which you can see. So barrier, see that island beach, SP? Uh, that is part of a barrier island chain running from the northern uh, part of this um, image down to the bottom uh, close to Mike Kanush, Rutgers University's name. Uh, so essentially what we've got is these rivers that are flowing from the left-hand side of the image to uh, the intercoastal waterway to these uh, in-between bays and harbors essentially is bringing sediment that is then counteracted by the ocean currents coming in uh, which creates this thin chain uh, of islands that we can see here, these barrier islands. And going back to a previous map quiz, we've got over on the far hand, right hand side, the eastern side of this image here, we've got uh, the Outer Banks. And so the Outer Banks are essentially barrier islands created from transported and weathered away sediment from the Appalachians, which is bringing, via the various rivers, uh, bringing that sediment to the Atlantic. Uh, and so it's kind of a deal where the, those, those places that we love to go to, to beach, Outer Banks, Myrtle Beach, uh, Daytona, uh, what those largely are is if you if you drive down there, you go over the interco intercoastal waterway uh, before you get to those beachy areas. And those beachy areas are essentially barrier islands, uh, which in which that sediment from those rivers upstream, from those rivers that are from you know from many begin up in the Appalachian foothills, brings that sediment to the coast, where it's eventually deposited, forming these landforms, barrier islands. And I guess a closer image to see these rivers carrying that sediment to the Outer Banks. Uh, so down here we've got South Padre, and so South Padre, uh, South Padre you can't really see, it's not shown, but you see the uh, inn in Brownsville in the bottom, actually see the inn in Harlingen. Uh, the inn in Harlingen is about where South Padre is, and South Padre is part of these chain of islands, these barrier islands, uh, and so essentially the Rio Grande, as it comes from the Rockies, is bringing away weathered and eroded away sediment and then eventually depositing that weathered and eroded away sediment at its mouth, forming the chain of islands, these barrier islands here in Texas. So Texas, coastal Texas, we can see this barrier island, which goes pretty much all the way along the entire coast, all the way up to Houston, Galveston.